Hey, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Barbecue It. I'm your host, Craig Kimberly, and today it's an open box, thermometer style. That's right, Smartro. This company contacted me a while back and said, hey, like your channel, can we send you something to test? Open box, let's do it. Very exciting. Now, um, there are a lot of thermometers on the market, so this is really an open you know, world of stuff. You see, I have a few over here. I'm gonna A and B some of these a little bit. It's really hard to kind of test something until you put it through the works, say for a couple weeks or a few cooks or something like that. But let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside, see how it looks, you know, put some batteries in it and, uh, you know, see how the design works out. Now it's called a cooking thermometer, so it doesn't necessarily say, you know, everything um, barbecue strictly, but, you know, here's the uh, contents. Let's see, I'm working with uh, my little extra camera over here. I don't have my long lens for that one, so we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. So immediately you get you know warranty card in here, pretty cool. A have a chance to get a free replacement probe. That's really cool. Contact them and you will get free replacement probe. Not bad. And your instruction manual, very cool because you know you need to know how to use the unit. Little graph here to show you, you know typical temps for uh for certain things. Um, Pretty obvious stuff. A couple things in there show you, hey, this is what you want to cook X, Y, and Z meat at. A lot of this you probably know. And here we go to the unit and the probes. Now it comes with two probes. Let's get a close up on that there. Not bad looking. Two probes and they have a really neat design to them actually. Um, they have a uh, this amazing spring action on the very end there. Hold it up for you there. Hold it up for you there. So see that really well built in spring, which obviously is going to defend that from wearing out and breaking and coming off. Um, that's, a, that's a tremendous probe, really nice. Two of them, identical. And the unit itself, which is, move that out of the way. Smart Tro, good looking. Um, it's got a little stand, a little pop-up stand. You can see the uh, display action there. Let's pop some batteries in so we can see how it looks. Now what's nice on the back here, there's your Celsius and Fahrenheit switches right here so that you can just basically make that decision right away. It's in Celsius, interestingly enough. And then there's a timer on here. You can cut the timer on. Oh, and it's telling me my food's ready. <laughs> so there's, an out, there's a 99 minute and 50, 99, 59 second timer on here. So you basically have a 100 minute timer you can put on here. Probe one, probe two on each side, pretty simple. As you can see, probe one, probe two, and let me just, there's the uh, switches for that. There's your little pop-up stand, pretty cool. All right, let's power this puppy up, off timer and cook. All right, we'll switch it over to cook, and we light up. All right, so there you have it, there's the display. Pretty good looking. Um, and it's LED, you know, it's, you probably could see it, you know, backlit pretty well. All right, let's plug some probes in here and see what we get. 63 and 67, 66. Oh, now they're reading 63. So they have agreed on each other. Pretty good. All right, so let's test and just see what if they're reading close to this javelin and I also have my Maverick my XR50 here and this is also for scale to kind of show you you know here's the the receiver and the transmitter for these as you can see the kind of the scale size another good feature this does have is it's got little magnets on the back this table's metal oh they work so magnets on the back that's cool you can hang on the side of your stove or or some non-heat transferring spot that won't melt it because it is plastic on the back um, but let's check these probes out and see what they're reading versus what uh, my Javelin and maybe we'll throw the Mavic in there and see. Um, these are waterproof. They claim to be waterproof, which is really awesome. I th so I think the unit itself is supposed to be waterproof, although it is, it seems it's not nearly as barbecue rugged as say the, the, the Mavic XR is. Okay, so this thing is settled and it's reading all 60. And so is my Javelin, so I feel like it's accurate. But let's test it in some warm and some cold water. First, let's put both probes in the cold water and let's see, ice water at that. And let's see, it's 
coming up with 39, 38. They're both identical. That's really good. And to test that, I put my Javelin in there, Instant Re, which I really trust, 38.3 right away. Let's see how fast they adjust to warm water. All right. 86, 80, wow, that was 85, 86. Very fast adjustment. Now for my instant read, 86, 85, 87, boom, right away. So 87, 86. I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are accurate. I trust Javelin tremendously. I don't even need to cut on the Mavic to, to prove it. I would say that these are very fast. I'm gonna put them back in the cold just to see how fast they, uh, let me try to make sure I'm getting that there. Boom, 39. All right, we're gonna do a, let's do a real world test here back in the warm. 38, 39. 78, 79. Boom, that was really fast. So these are, these are instant read-ish in a sense. They're very fast readers. I've, I've seen some tick along for, you know, 20 seconds before they get there. So that's very impressive. This is an extremely light unit, very simple. And these cables with the, uh, with the spiraling, you know, to kind of protect them fantastic design now i've seen this on amazon for 25 bucks that's right and i've seen it listed a few times and every listing has this at five stars that's impressive which means people are happy this seems to be like something obviously you would use in your oven and your stove and your house and stuff as well now oops i almost forgot it does have a clip so we are grill ready or you know in your oven you can put it on the, the grates there Doing a great job with that, aren't I? So yeah, it does have a really nice barbecue clip between your grates or like I said, on your, in your stove, as you can see there, camera B. And um, you know, that's obviously, if you're gonna put it on your, in case you don't know, seems more of a universal one for different size probes. There you go, that fits perfect. So on the grate in your oven or on your grill in our case. So I think for, <laughs> for 25 bucks, and I gotta tell you, man, that was as fast as the instant read. I would call this an instant read thermometer with meat probe and a, and a grill probe or oven probe, whichever you, you uh, decide to use it in. And there you have it, Smartro. Good product, worth every penny of 25 bucks. And these probes alone, <laughs> I have order probes for other cookers that cost more than 25 bucks. Some of the best ones I've ever seen in the market. If they hold up to the weather like they say they can, these are gonna be awesome. It says they're waterproof. All right, well, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in to Barbecue It. Click this video link right here if you haven't watched it. Click that button right there if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you soon right back here on Barbecue It.